This is the demonstration video of an improved approach to word sense disambiguation. Now, the task of word sense disambiguation involves finding the correct sense of a given polysemous word in an input sentence. Now, a polysemous word is one which has more than one sense. Now, we've used a knowledge based approach to, to disambiguate a polysemous word, and uh, to do that, we've used a publicly available lexicon which is WordNet. Now, let us uh, illustrate with an example as how the algorithm works. Let's take this as an example. The baseline of the song is too weak. Now we need, we need to disambiguate the word base. So we call it the target word. And the very first step is to tag the sentence according to the various part of speech. Now base, so base comes out to be as a noun, line and song also are nouns and weak as an adjective. Now we only take adverbs, adjectives, verbs and nouns. The rest of the part of speech are ignored. So basically we have base, line, song and weak out of which base is called the target word and line, song and weak are its nearby words. Now according to WordNet there are 8 senses of the word base and we need to find out which is the correct sense which fits perfectly in this given sentence. Now to do that the first step we do is make pairs with base. That is, make that is base with song, base with line, and base with weak. Now let's take the first pair, base and song. Now, as it was described earlier, there are eight senses of the word base. So, with every sense, there is a word family, which is a set of related words which belong to a sense set. So, for eight senses, there will be correspondingly eight word families of the word base. Similarly, there are six senses of the word song. So there will be six word families of the word song. Now since we need to disambiguate base at the moment, we will, set, we will keep, these, keep the eight word families separated as shown in the green boxes. There are eight different word families containing some words which are related to each sense. For example, the, which the first sense, which is the lowest part of the musical range, the words bass and pitch are related to the first sense set. Similarly, in, for the second sense set, continuo, voice, figured bass and thorough bass are uh, somehow related to the lowest part in polyphonic music and so on. Similarly, there will be six word families of the word song, but they will be clustered together because right now we are only focused on finding the sense of the word bass and not song. So we cluster all the word families of the word song and keep all the word families of the word bass separated. Now the next step is to find the intersection which is finding the number of common words between these boxes. That is between the first green box and this whole yellow box, the second green box and this whole yellow box and so on. Basically, we are trying to find out the number of common words that the word families of song have in each of the word family of bass. Now, this we call it as level 1. Now, let's suppose that there was no intersection. That is, there was no word whatsoever found in any of the 8 word families of the word bass. Now, what we do is, we go to the next level. And what do we mean by that is, according to WordNet, there is a there exists a super subordinate relationship that is for example if I say that parrot is a bird so there is a super subordinate relationship similarly for every sense set there exists a parent for so since there are eight senses of the word base there will be eight corresponding parents and therefore and now we have 16 uh, senses of the word base 8 which were present at the first level and now 8 more which are present at the next level now we combine uh, this s1 with its immediate parent as shown here we depicted by ps1 similarly the since the sensor 2 also had a parent so we club s2 with its parent in one box and so on we do that for 8 senses which are belonging to the word base. Now similarly the word song had six senses 
so for each sense there will be a parent available so a total of 12 sense sets but again like like i said before because we need not find the sense of the word song right now we will club all of them together so in a way all the 12 sense sets of the of the word song are clubbed in one whole box as depicted here now so basically all the 12 word families are clubbed together in this whole yellow box whereas there are still eight different boxes of the word bass which includes the level one uh, sense sets and its immediate parents now we again uh, repeat the process by finding the number of common words between each green box with the whole of the yellow box which is the box of the word song and bass now in this case we do find an intersection and we apply it with a formula which is this score which is equal to intersection to the power 1 by k1 upon level to the power k2 into distance to the power 1 by k3 now the intersection is obviously the number of common words that uh, came for example uh, in this case voice and strain match with the second sense set so intersection will be 2 now what is level level is basically how far you have uh, uh, you know how how far you've traveled from the level 1 basically uh, at which hierarchy level you are from the base level so in this case we are at level 2 so we put the value of two uh, of level as two and distance well this the value the distance is actually the distance between song and bass in this sentence if we exclude words like off and the so in in a way the distance between bass and song is two because there is line in between the distance between bass and line is one and the distance between bass and weak is three so we put these values in this formula and computer score for every sense set so wherever there will be an intersection we will compute the score and we will continue this till we, there are no more parents or hypernames left for either of the two words base or the word sense basically we are looking at the DNA of any word we are checking its entire hierarchy and trying to match it with the entire hierarchy of the nearby word and we keep adding these scores so we'll be maintaining eight scores because there are eight uh, target senses of the word base so we'll be maintaining eight scores and we'll be keep at every level whatever intersection we get we put that into this formula and uh, we, we keep adding them in these scores now at the end when there are no more parents left for the word song or base we we check all the eight scores and the score which has the highest highest value and the sense which has the highest value is chosen as the correct sense now this is repeated uh, for for example this was done for for the first pair now now that the first pair was done we move on to the next pair which is base and line and re repeat the entire process again and again we will compute the scores We'll add them up to the uh, to the eight scores that we've been maintaining, and then we move to again base and weak. Again, compute the scores. Again, keep adding to the eight scores that we've been maintaining, and finally, finally, the sense which has the highest score, as described earlier, will be the winner. Will be the proposed correct sense in this given input sentence. Now, as you can see, this is the output. So as you can see this is the first uh, word family of the word uh, base and this is the combined six word families of the word song. This is at level one. Now we keep doing it, we keep finding intersections and finally we get this. So these are the scores in front of your screen. Uh, the maximum score is 2.10 and it has been given to the sense the lowest part in polyphonic music now as you can see it clearly identifies that bass the word bass is being being referred to a part of music rather than a fish 
or a family of fish or edible marine fish. So it clearly identifies the, uh, that bass is being used as a part of music in this case. Now if, to illustrate you with another example, let's take this. There is more of a choice on the menu with duck, beef, salmon, risotto, prawns and sea bass. In this case bass is being used as a fish. Now again we'll again uh, repeat the entire process, uh, check for the nearby words and how they affect the word bass and ultimately what we get is this. The maximum score comes out to be 1.60 for the synset this. Any of the various North American freshwater fish. So in this case it was able to actually identify actually distinguish between bass which is used in music and bass which is being referred to as fish. So clearly the two examples are different and how the algorithm identifies uh, the, say, the word of the word bass in different contexts.